Leadership starts with courage. I think that uh, what's required is the ability to stand up, be a tall poppy, to put it in, in Australian terminology, not be afraid of having your head cut off. Uh, leadership requires the ability to articulate a mission uh, and to be able to state that in such clear and easy terms that people will want to buy into that. Uh, leadership requires the ability to pick people who are better than they are to surround themselves with. That's a very important part. I'll just say that you can judge an awful lot about a person by who they have surrounded themselves with. And uh, strong egoed people who can't take the heat of the kitchen uh, will surround themselves with very mediocre folks. But your best leaders surround themselves with outstanding people. Uh, a good example of that was uh, President Reagan. I mean, he, he had a cabinet that was absolutely outstanding. And that was part of his genius. And if you look politically, you look corporately, you look philanthropically, you'll see that. Um, leadership is not getting your ego in front of you. Leadership is really providing the environment for people to feel that they're going to be successful. And success is not defined just by cash. It is what I call psychic income. It's when you're on a rocket ship and you feel that sense of we're going to the moon and we're all in it together. That's worth a huge amount, huge amount, because it gets people up in the morning and wanting to go to the office or to the plant or wherever it is and let's let's get going here and we're very proud of the fact that I mean in this shop nobody punches a card but there are people here almost every day of the week deep into the evenings not because they have to be but because they're deeply involved with whatever it is there's no requirements of that sort of thing it's just you want to turn people on that requires on the part of leadership, the willingness to be transparent and the willingness to also um, be communicative, to create an environment where you can have up and down and sideways communication, very important, and to avoid bureaucracy. I think bureaucracy is the, is the arterial sclerosis of any corporation. And in today's world where change is coming so rapidly, that's, that's a disaster.